before I swap over, uh... Persona 3, dance tabs. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> open up my, uh, my program. This all setup was incredibly like a lot. I was I was too busy grinding the Fortnite or something as the kids do nowadays. But uh, Persona Three Dancing and Moonlight. I'm kind of deciding this. I was only going for these games on stream. But that's something relaxing to do every so often. And uh, why not go for just the dancing games? I, I don't like this one. Actually, no, I, I do like this one. I don't like five dancing. Four dancing, really good. Three is passable, five fucking blows. Probably turn this up just a bit. There we go. It's it, it's it's been a while since I've played these games. I, I was kind of replaying them as these my, my PS4. I am plugged in properly. It's like oh data corrupted or something. I had to reset all my games. And I know PS Plus. So I lost the C data for some games. Uh, I, was, I was starting to replay them recently, and I'm like, ah, fuck it, I, I, I don't ever use my PS4, uh, until recently. Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight. Oh, you're awake. Are you okay? No clue. We woke up here. Maybe we should just go back to sleep. Maybe you should just sleep forever. Everyone else is here too. This place is strange. It doesn't make any sense. I went to sleep in my own room. As did I. When I woke, I was here with the others. Everyone's here. Could this be an attack? Yamagishi, do you have an understanding of the situation? There are no signs of shadows. It seems we're safe for now, but... Huh? What the? Ladies and gentlemen! I have been waiting for you. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <clears throat> I mean... For one night only, a magical paradise where a gathering of passionate souls revel as one! Welcome to Club Velvet! Whoa, that was unexpected. I mean, what's going on here? Who are you? That was merely an ingenious orchestration of a dazzling entrance. No big deal. Uh, you're calling yourself a genius? Whatever, she's such a hottie. You know her? No way! When did you meet her? But that means she's not an enemy, right? Well, what do you want with us? Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. However, I will not answer any more questions until I am done. She... she's kind of overbearing, huh? You think we're gonna be okay? Due to an incident involving my sisters, we shall be holding a ball here. Accordingly, I have summoned you all to proudly participate in the festivities. A ball? You mean, like a party? Ooh, sounds like fun! I'm totally down for that! Hold on, Iori. This doesn't seem like just any old party. What do you want us to do? Ah, 
Uh, yes. Thank you for asking. I would like for you, my guests, to dance for me. Dance? dance? What? Oh, there's no need for rumination. It's as simple as following your heart and releasing your passion on stage. Uh, it doesn't sound simple. Sorry, but we don't have time for this. Ah, there's no need to worry about that. In the real world, you are all fast asleep. What happens here will only take place tonight, and then it will vanish like a fleeting dream. Regardless of how much time you spend here, it will not have any effect on reality. Um, so since we're in a dream, we can spend as long as we want here, and it won't matter? Yes, perfectly stated. In addition, once you wake in the real world, your memories from this place will all be removed. It will be quick and painless, allowing you to rise and shine just like any other morning. So please enjoy your time here to your heart's content. That's easy for her to say. Does she really expect us to go along with this? Why must we dance, though? You need to give us a reason. Why, you ask? Hmm, well... Ah... Uh, you all are currently on a very dark journey. I can only imagine how stressful it must be. I apologize for my audacity, but I only wish to provide you with some relaxation. Thus, I prepared such an occasion to lift your spirits for the days to come. Will this explanation suffice? You just thought of that, didn't you? Should you refuse me, I would have no one else to turn to. I would be unable to even the score with my incompetent sister for all of eternity. And without a doubt, my dignity would be trampled in the mud. Your sister? Oh, don't let it trouble you. That is truly a personal affair after all. Anyway, I thought I had done my utmost to support this man's journey from the shadows. Yet to think you won't even oblige one teensy little request from me. However, the blame rests solely with me. My sadness is deeper than the color of this room. Hey, she's crying. Those are obviously crocodile tears. She's attempting to appeal to our emotions. Uh... However, her acting lacks any true sentiment. What are we gonna do? You're indebted to her, right? Then she's an ally. And if that's the case, we can't turn our backs on her. I'm okay with it. What about you guys? I don't mind either. It's not like I have any strong objections. Wait, what? You're actually okay with dancing? <laughs> You have all accepted my terms, yes? A guest never goes back on their word, so our contract has been sealed. Now then, I ask that you all dance passionately into your heart's content. I knew it. She didn't even try to hide how quickly her mood changed. But I didn't agree to it. First off, none of us have any dance skills or techniques. What will be done about that? Not to worry, as I am well aware. Club Velvet is a mysterious space that only exists within your dreams. Your emotions will be transformed into dance moves. Enabling your body to move exactly how you imagine it to. It's merely child's play here. <sighs> she completely has the upper hand. It seems we've fallen right into her trap. Fine by me. Sounds fun. Well, basically, we just have to dance and rile up the crowd, right? Um... Uh... Oh, I beg your pardon. It seems I forgot to introduce myself. The one who will be guiding... No, <laughs> producing you is me. My name is Elizabeth. Please feel free to call me by my nickname, LP. 
fine, whatever. So then, what do we need to do? Please tell us in more detail, uh, LP. Yes, just as Kenny Boy said, we are pressed for time here. Permit me to wrap things up and get right to the point. Uh, he didn't say that. And what's with the forced use of idioms? I shall gracefully forego the insignificant details and tell you about Club Velvet. First, this room you are in now is the VIP room, exclusively for your private use. Please utilize it as you wish, be it to practice or to chat with one another. Oh, so this isn't where we'll be performing? The dance floor where you will actually perform is located just outside this room. The images in a dancer's heart will create the stage on which they'll perform within reason. Within reason? That sounds scary coming from her. In addition, I have prepared a separate waiting room for each of you. Yo, for real? <laughs> We're like celebrities! To ensure that your waiting rooms will have a most relaxing effect on you, I have created each one to reflect the very rooms in which you spend your daily lives. I'll give you your key so that until it's time to perform, you can relax whole heart... No, whole wheat? Whole, whole grain? Oh, whatever. Relax how you would like. Our rooms? You mean our dorm rooms? Good. Then I can train. You're accepting this way too easily, senpai. Plus, what's the point of training in a dream? Now then, as leader of the dance team, please get this party started. Wait, what? You're our leader here, too? That's fine with me. You're best suited, after all. Go ahead. We'll just have to give this a go. By the way, I'm ready whenever. I'm still a bit lost, but I'll make sure to be ready too. We'll look to you, leader. Yo, Does anyone have for any this? intel yes, on this? This is getting interesting. interesting. Why don't we check out our waiting rooms? Got it. How do I look? Let's rock. Time to get started. I'm counting on you. Give it your own. Yes. Don't panic. That's not good. Good. Nothing to worry about. Keep focused. That's it. 
great. Yes. so focused when I'm with you, Mitsuru-senpai. Great. Yes. Whoa. That's it. Great. How's that? Now's my chance. That's it. Huh. How's that? Whoa. This is it. Yeah, I forgot how slow it was at the start. Oh, that. Oh. It was just brutal. on here this is a dream right in reality we're all asleep in our beds which means we're all having the same dream and we don't have to worry about time right we'll forget everything when we wake up well no sense in overthinking it I'll go with the flow it's scary how used to this I am Somehow, it just feels like another day to me. A few years ago, I would have been freaking out. I adjust to things way too fast. Dancing, though? That really came out of nowhere. Nope, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Oh, but I think I can picture myself doing it. I like music, and I watch dance videos. What else? Uh, cheerleading? I kind of used to think that was cool. But I turned down the cheerleading club when they asked me to join. I was too embarrassed. What about you? Ever tear up the dance floor anywhere? Like at Club Escapade? What, really? Whoa, no way. Well, I guess that'll come in handy here, huh? Uh, I used to be interested in dancing, so this seems like a good chance to try it out. 
Honestly, I still think this is crazy. But then again, I can dance my heart out here. I'll be counting on you if something happens, okay? You seem like you can handle anything. All right, I think I'll go practice. It's our job to hype up the crowd, right? Okay, time to dance. I'm gonna be the disco queen. Huh? Is that not right? Okay, leave it to me. Yeah, got it. I've never felt like thinking just relax forever. Better stay with me. You gotta tell me you like I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Let's begin. You sure look the part, Yukatan. want to practice I'll join you anytime brilliant How brilliant pretty good right that was crazy you could die you put the pros to shame leave it in the game Nice warm up. Whoa, that aura is something else. Check this. Nailed it. 
really hyped up. Yeah, the excitement here is amazing. Stage clear. That was a great sweat, but I can do better. You think you can do way better? It's written all over your face. Oh, you're here to practice too? was a good workout. I'm gonna take a little break. <laughs> Being together like this, it's almost like we're back in the dorm. This dream rocks. I don't have to go to class and my room is the same as it is in reality. Oh, you mean our waiting rooms? Yeah, I was surprised. It looks just like my actual room. It even has all the same things in it. How does that work? Like, I wanted to listen to a CD, but it wasn't in its case here, either. Hmm. Wait. Uh, what's up, Yucatan? I just realized that I let you borrow that CD, Junpei. Oh, uh, you remembered that, huh? <sighs> Unbelievable. Give it back already. Yeah, wait, please. Just let me hold on to it for a little longer. Actually, uh, can I borrow a few more? Uh, are you kidding me? How about you give back what you've already got first? Wait. Hmm. Oh, nice one, dude! Oh, that's too bad. Nothing we can do about it, huh? <laughs> oh, you little... Well, I guess this is a dream, so we'll forget everything when we wake up. All right, just forget Stu Pay for now. Hey, you're always wearing earphones, huh? What kind of stuff do you listen to? Oh, like classical? I can sort of picture that. For me, it's gotta be rock and maybe a little pop. I'm a pretty good singer myself, you know? Don't believe me? <laughs> Wait till I'm on stage. Uh, don't know, don't wanna know. Come on! At least listen! Music sure is interesting, though. 
Just listening to it is enough to fire someone up or make them cry. It can even make you remember the past, if you listen to a song from that time. Right? Memories just come flooding back. Yeah, I was so young and foolish back in the day. Not that you really learned anything. Ah, uh, lay off! I worked hard to get where I am. The music we listened to this year, it's definitely linked to our memories. Maybe we'll end up remembering this place after all. So we have to do our best. I don't want my memories of this place to be embarrassing. Okay. I mean, we won't get a chance like this again, right? I'm raring to go, too. This is going to be the best night ever. We're going to forget everything anyway, so we don't have to worry about Junpei messing up. I do wish I could remember seeing everyone on stage, though. Wait! Why am I the only one getting singled out here? to do oh it's you I understand that we can dance here just by imagining it I've been trying it out myself however I've never danced in a setting like this before oh come now you give me far too much credit I've never dealt with this sort of thing the closest would be ballroom dancing and even that's an overstatement I only learned the basics to perform on the floor. Thus, I have no confidence in riling up the crowd as we were instructed. So you think I should just go with the flow? Perhaps that's all I can do. Then I'll give it a try. Turning my back on this would be a disgrace as a Kirijo. I swear on my family's name to make the crowd's cheers all mine. If I were to falter now, putting on a great show would be beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be sure to reference everyone's dancing. Sorry, but I'll need your help when I do so. All right then, time to pull myself together and get to practicing. You'll join me, no? as well I guess your dancing is so amazing I feel even more inspired now Fuka-san you seem happy being here your expression is more carefree than usual oh yes dancing with everyone has been great it's like we get our own little school club I've only ever been in liberal arts clubs so I've always dreamed of joining a sports club to cheer on everyone! Huh? Oh no, I'll try to dance too! But, I'm not great at physical activities, so I thought I might help more as a support. Even if that is the case, isn't this situation optimal for your attempts? According to LP, our bodies will perform any dance moves exactly as we imagine them. Thus, even if you lack talent in physical activities, such an issue is no matter here. Well, I guess that's true. My assessment is that the only necessity for your successful dancing is self-confidence. You previously mentioned that you consider dancing to be fun, 
like a club activity. You should then consider this place as our dance club, with yourself as its president. Me, the president? I, I don't think I could do it. The title is merely a presumption, but this will allow you to achieve your dream. Well, that's true. You're right. It'd be much more difficult to do it any time besides now. All right, I'll do my best for the dance cheer club. Oh, of course I'll dance, but I also really want to cheer everyone on as they perform. I've been providing support whenever we went to Tartarus and dealt with shadows. So I want to use my strongest skills and help everyone while we're here too. It's true that dancers try harder if they are being cheered on. That sounds like fun. Then it's decided. I hereby elect myself president of the dance cheer club. <laughs> Thanks. I guess it is a bit daring for my usual self. After all, we are in a dream. This might not be the best way to put it, but... Since we'll forget everything when we wake up, I'd rather go and try new things. In that case, one must strike while the iron is hot. I will now resume practice, so please cheer me on, Fuka-san. All right. It's our leader. What's up? You here to practice? Thank you. The ball is off to a smooth start. It seems this talented producer was correct about you all. Please excuse my audacity, but my heart is dancing as well. <laughs> I'm starting to get into the groove, too. We're totally going to liven up this party. What promising words. Please enjoy the ball with your friends. But man, this place sure is strange. My body moves exactly how I imagine it to. I'm not worthy of such kind words. However, all I did was give a teeny boost to the strength of your heart, like always. Strength of our heart? You mean like our persona? Indeed. As you know, a persona is the strength of one's heart. Club Velvet is no different from your persona ability. The images you hold so dear in your heart manifest as movement. The strength of your heart equates to the strength of the passion you emit when dancing. I ask that you strive to make your mic drops reverberate and secure victory for me. Huh? Victory? Does that mean we're competing against someone? Oh my, how carelessly thoughtless of me. It seems I've made a slip of the tongue. In short, this is a big fight between me and my younger sister. Our pride is on the line. Ah, I think you mentioned something like that at the start. I have a brash older sister as well. A short while ago, her guest resolved a certain incident by dancing. Our primary role is to assist our guest and watch over them on their journey. Just as you are my guest, my older sister has a guest as well. Upon hearing that, my younger sister said, Our guest could have resolved it faster! Her words lit an infernal flame within me. What about my guest, I thought? Would he be defeated? No, he would never! Uh, so basically you stood up to your sister, huh? Man, you're totally into this guy. 
I gotta admit, though, he's no average Joe. However, my impertinent sister wouldn't back down, so I came up with a plan. My older sister's guest resolved a situation with dance. So I stole, <laughs> I mean, borrowed that idea and organized a dance competition with their guest. <laughs> Seems like it. Well, as long as it's fun. So how do we figure out who the winner is? Whoever moves the crowd most is kind of vague. The cheers that echo across the stage are the voices that rise from the sea of souls. In other words, countless unseen spectators are waiting in anticipation to watch you dance. How frenzied the audience is will be apparent, so the winner should be obvious. Uh, I'd like to say I get it, but I don't. Well, is there some kind of reward for winning? <laughs> I'll try even harder if there is. Of course there is. For real? Yes. In the event that you emerge victorious, I will forever honor your names as the most remarkable guests for generations to come. Uh... Wait, that's it? Above all, as your producer, your victory is also my victory. Thus, my impertinent younger sister will have been totally served, and I'd be ecstatic. Wow, I'm impressed with her honesty. And if we lose? We will all fall into an eternal hell of endless suffering and humiliation. Uh, hell? How vicious is your younger sister? No need to worry. When you wake, those memories will have disappeared into oblivion and be forgotten. That's not the issue here, and that smile's freaking me out! Then again, this is a private affair among sisters. Please do not let it worry you. As your producer, all I ask is that you perform amazing dance routines. You can do it, my dear guests! If you can't do it, no one can! We got this, right? I mean, our team's got the amazing me and you. I'm gonna go tell everyone to give it their all. I'll be counting on you, too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Although I am not worthy, I, LP, will do my utmost to help you be victorious at this ball. Hmm. <sighs> As you know, this room exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Space and even time escape the chains that would normally bind them. However, this is still a transient, fleeting dream that only lasts one night. Please, do not forget this, regardless of the fate that awaits you on the road ahead. Then, there is nothing more that I must say. In any case, please focus your efforts on livening up the ball. Now, as I am quite busy being your talented producer, I shall take my leave. my best.
Make sure you keep your eyes on me. Keep calm, Fuka. How's this? Yeah. This is starting to be fun. Time to nail this. Stage clear. I've got a lot to reflect on. I need to practice more, too. That was pretty good. Strive higher next time.
it to me. I comprehend. I'm ready to go. Give it your all, I guess. But don't go crazy or anything. I can do it. <laughs> yeah. You're on fire. I can do it. Just kidding. Oh man, I'm gonna puke. I haven't heard jokes that bad in a while. Yeah. I can do it. Looking good. Here we go. Let's get hyped. That's great. Keep it up. What? They can't perform unless they're being cheered on. Not too shabby. Good luck out there. Hope I was able to help. That was fast. I'm a little sad to see you go. <laughs> Not bad, you pieces of shit. Our time together was very fulfilling. Thank you. Joining in. That's great! Keep it up! You keep up your great cheering too, you curry chan! Helping me. It's about time I returned the favor. I'm happy to have danced with you. Whatever. I'd totally rather dance alone. I've saved your dance to my memory. I can do it. Let's keep up this pace. That was beautiful, I guess. I'm looking forward to next time. Are you going to practice? I was just about to discuss something with LP. I am an anti-shadow weapon. I was born for the purpose of fighting. I'm glad that someone such as myself can partake in a peaceful activity like dancing. Thank you for inviting me. I will do my very best. Please, this is a ball. Let us dispense with such formalities. You need to get peaced out, I guess, and display your explosive vibes at full force. 
If you require anything for that purpose, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. In that case, I would like to take you up on your offer. This is a brand new experience for me, so I will need to be outfitted properly for it. In other words, I will need 7th generation anti-shadow suppression dance armaments. Oh my! What a pleasant ring that has to it! I am most intrigued! Yes, I was wondering which loadout would be best. May I ask your opinion on multi-barrel rotary machine guns? They have the greatest area of effect, and the gunshot flashes will generate a lot of hype. My heart is simply a flutter at the thought. It will be quite an innovative performance. Next, I would like mounted multi-rocket launchers. I was thinking of using the recoil from firing to create a unique type of movement. I would also like some stun grenades and signal flares to give myself more options. So the risk is too high? I thought it was such a good idea. I was erring on the side of caution, but perhaps we should account for all possibilities. Let's discuss my dance armaments later. For now, I will manage with my current loadout. My combat protocols do not include dancing, but it seems I can review image data. Please allow me to consult you should the need arise. I will do the best I can. I must say, I'm a tad disappointed. Perhaps we can still try it in private? Very well. We can just call it a one-shot test fire. I settle for one shot when you can do two or three. I am extremely disappointed, but very well. If I guess is not permitted to do so, then perhaps I will conduct the test on my own.
Oh, hey. Are you here to practice too? Seems it's true that we can dance here however we can imagine. I'm a total rookie when it comes to dancing, but if that's how it works here, I'll manage. No, it's not my style to just sit around waiting. The time put in practice never betrays you. At first I thought, why all of this now? But since we've committed, I shifted gears. I won't let myself slack off. Even for dance, I'll improve as much as I can. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? I'm a high school boxing champ. I've got the basics of dancing down already. Like I expected, it's all about your rhythm. That makes it easier for a boxer like me to understand. Rhythm is important for all martial arts and especially in boxing. Find the right rhythm, and you'll eventually relax, limiting fatigue and wasted energy. By keeping in rhythm and always moving, it's easier to react quickly to an opponent. Now, I know that's easier said than done, so in order to keep your... Sorry, didn't mean to get worked up. We were talking about dancing, right? Anyway, I'll stick with my own style of getting things done. That's all I can do. But I do enjoy a good party as well, so let's do our best in livening this one up. Of course, I don't intend on losing to you either. I'll be taking the champion's belt. The bell's rung and now I'm coming. Take my one-two, then an uppercut for the KO. I should also practice my cheering. After all, I'm the president of the club. I was doing some simple visualization training when you came over. I thought that I might cheer more naturally if I pretend our party's inside Tartarus. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, Ken-kun! Were you two practicing your dancing? No, we were actually talking about the dance cheer club. Cheer club? What's that? Well... I see. You'll be cheering us on as we dance. But I feel like that might be kind of distracting. What? Not you too, Ken-kun. Right, I'm the club president. Say, Ken-kun, why don't you try practicing some cheers with me? Me? Mm hmm I mean, you call out to the others when they're dancing too, right? This isn't any different than doing that. Uh, well, that is true. Okay, then let's give it a try. Go, go, go! Leader, go! Show us all the moves you know! What? I don't really think that's my sort of thing. What? No, I can't! Don't just watch this happen! Help me out here! Come on, Cancun! Follow my lead! Don't be shy! Go, go, go! I... Uh, go, go, go! Show us all the moves you know! Should show us all your moves that... Okay, this is definitely not gonna happen.
most sincere apologies. Given the current circumstances, there was nothing I could do. Well, I understand. I just wish you were here. important. You know who we're talking about, though, right, leader? Yes! I'm so glad you remembered Koromaru! To be more accurately specific, the topic is the absence of the dog. I mean, Koromaru. You arrived in the midst of Ken exhaustively interrogating and scolding me on this point. Uh, I wasn't exactly scolding you. I just... I just feel like Koromaru is part of our team, too. In complete honesty, I planned this ball to coincide with my master's abs... I mean, it is pure, unbounded coincidence that it was arranged for such a time. Anyway, while there was a good chance that it would have posed no issues in the end, my master could have reacted strongly against admitting a quadruped guest here. In more direct terms, the thought alone made me fear for my life. It's just unfortunate is all. I'm sure Koromaru would have been a real good dancer. <gasps> How unprecedented! Do you truly mean that Fido Maru possessed an ability to dance? Well, it's Koromaru, and I would guess he's even more physically capable than we are. He should be able to dance, don't you think? I don't know if he's that good. Is he? What a revelation! I was unaware that Barkoromaru had such exceptional talent! Upon deeper consideration, I now recall his persona summoning despite being quadrupedal. Not only that, but he could understand human speech and fought well alongside you all. In a sense, he could well be the most extraordinary unpoochly pooch ever. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Koromaro is pretty amazing, isn't he? Now that I envision it, the cat from the opposing team versus your dog. If only... Cat? Wait, you mean there's a cat that can dance on the other team? Yes, while somewhat overbearing, he is a fully kitted or fully kittened dancer. Cocky dancing cat. Nope, I can't even imagine that. Well, whatever. I already decided that I would dance enough for Koromaru's sake, too. That way, when we return, I can pet him and say I worked hard enough for the both of us. Just so you know, I don't plan on losing to you, either. You know how I was the last one in the dorm to become a Persona user? Since I joined the fight late, I really struggled to catch up to you all. But here, we all started at the same place. I'm not letting myself fall behind this time. Alright, how about some practice? I've got to dance for Koromaru's sake, too. so I was chatting with LP. Looks like our dancing is a hit. The stage has been on fire thanks to your sharp moves. Perhaps that is where the phrase night fever opens all doors comes from. See? I don't understand what she's saying, but that's gotta mean we're doing great, right? By the by, Yukari, how is your waiting room? Let me know if you need anything. Oh, that? I was so surprised. It's exactly like my real room. I thought that you'd be able to best relax in your own rooms. 
Has my careful preparation as a talented producer struck a chord with you? I'm delighted to hear that! Then it was worth going through all the trouble. Anyway, it's really impressive. Mine's nearly perfect, even though it's a dream. One might say that it's the result of my daily observations. I've watched you from morning till night and committed every detail to memory. True, but are you really okay with that? There's no need to worry. True to my duties, I won't speak a word of what I've learned. Such as the type of books Junpei collects, or the style of underwear Mitsuru prefers. Or even what you recently purchased, Yukari. I believe it was diet... Whoa, stop right there! You're spilling all our secrets! Oh, pardon me! Gosh, so much for not speaking a word. How closely have you been watching us? My interest continues to be piqued with every action you all take in reality. Everything I laid my eyes upon unveiled a new surprise. It's all thanks to you that my eyes turned to the outside world. As a result, my view has expanded exponentially. I am grateful for that. Seems like she really trusts you. That must be why you were summoned this time, too. Of course. That is thanks to his friends as well. I have seen that you are capable of manifesting greater powers because you support one another. Ah, <laughs> thanks. You're good at maneuvering us as well, LP. Maybe you really do have a gift for this. I am honored by the compliment. Please enjoy the ball to your heart's content. Well, I'm gonna rest in my room until my turn. Might as well make use of it. Oh, before you go, there's something I forgot to tell you. The waiting rooms appear to be adjacent, but they are separate and completely soundproof. Be reassured that you can bang all you want in there, no problem. Well, we'd never do that. I mean, what are you implying? Is there a problem with making as much noise as you need when practicing your dance moves? Ugh, never mind. Being watched is a bigger problem anyway. Please be at ease. My lips are sealed with regards to what I have learned via my duties. That doesn't put me at ease at all. I say that right. My, this is quite grim. Who's that? Hmm. Yeah. Find a way to come up to the You got this.
to assist you. Brilliant! <laughs> I'm pretty good too, huh? I had an amazing time. Thank you very much. Isn't this crazy? All you gotta do is think it in your head, and you can dance! Ha, no one has a better imagination than me. This is my time! Junpei Iori's star debut! Yeah, you know, like the envy of the crowd, the light of hope for the world. This is a dream, right? It doesn't affect reality, so we should get what we can out of it. Yo, I've been thinking about what's gonna happen after this and stuff. We've been living on the edge lately, so I think this is a good opportunity for us. It's times like these that I just gotta be my regular old upbeat self, you know? Right? I'm not some knucklehead who just does stuff without thinking. Let's team up and really give them a show to remember. United we stand! <laughs> and don't space out or I'll take all the glory. Time for some imagination training. Then I'll be ready to go. Okay, I'm imagining myself walking on stage. Oh, yeah. Don't you think LP is hot? She's kind of got the allure of an older woman, huh? I feel like I've met her before. <gasps> Could this be fate reuniting us? Oh, a backstage romance between a star and his producer. I could be down with that. Wait! No, no, no. I already have a special someone.
Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight. Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight, yeah, M Moonlight. Uh, back to this song again. <laughs> 